Good evening and welcome to Games Master, where a man's work is never done. You know, trying to get the girls off their knees to do some hard work is like trying to get jokes out of a Shane Ritchie. <laughs> Obviously, uh, underwear is at a premium when you're on a desert island, but I try to make sure that we meet each new day with a clean pair of pants. Unfortunately, washing takes its toll. For example, I can hardly fit into these now. Today's show is also tightly packed. Let's find out what's in it. Khalif, wrap their pants off with Parappa the Rapper. But we begin with an event we call... Oi, bloke, fiddle around with my character. With Mortal Kombat 4 finally reaching our shores, I searched long and hard to find three contestants debauched enough to play the game to a professional level. They have the show's duration to demonstrate their fighting skills by discovering as many special moves and fatalities as possible. After that, I will decide which challenger has made the most ghastly impression of the evening, and that my decision is final. So, ferreting around the motherboard of Mortal Kombat 4 today, please welcome Mark Griffin, Mikey Pasco, and Neil Farden. <laughs> Hi, Neil. Now, Mark, first of all, we played you on Games Master before, haven't we? Yep, yep. Uh, a couple of years ago, if I remember correctly, you had just been chocked. Yeah. And we uh, we uh, tried to get you a new girlfriend. Yes, indeed. Do you have a girlfriend now? I do. That's the beauty of television. <laughs> That's the wonder of this show. Uh, Mikey, now you repair stuff by trade, but you like to do a bit of DJing in your bedroom. Oh, yeah, man. What kind of stuff then? Do you cut? Is that the right word? Do you cut? Yeah, man. Cutting, scratching. Uh -huh. man. Just you sitting in your bedroom, yeah. maybe your woofers. <laughs> Get caught in the next round and that did a bit of rapping and that, you know? No, DJs have got names and everything. What would you, what would you name them? It's Mikey P, man. DJ Mikey P? Yeah, man. I like that. That's good. Uh, Neil, you said you're the very first uh, scaffolder that we've ever had on the show. I've got an interest in scaffolding. I've participated in the building of many erections myself. What most appealed to you about scaffolding? The money, Dominic, definitely. A lot of money in, involved? Um, fairly, yeah. Uh -huh. Pays well. And do you still do any of it now? Um, on and off. It's not right. something I want to continue doing, but it uh, pays the rent. Have you, have you come to terms with the absence of scaffolding in your life now? You feel you have safely left? To a certain extent, I have, yeah. Was it a wrench? <laughs> to begin with, but I've got used to it now. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, we, I only hope this challenge will help Neil come to terms with his um, non-scaffolding life now. Guys, uh, would you like to go and take your places by the machine? And I'll take a little trip up to the comments box. <laughs> you watch your Games Master on Channel 4, there's many shows on the station. Only one of them will give you the magic of Mr. Derek Lynch from Namco Wonder Parks. Hello, Derek. Derek, uh, now, we're on Mortal Kombat 4. By the year 2000, are we going to be on Mortal Kombat 10, or are people getting tired of beat em ups? Tell you the truth, Tony, people will never get tired of beat em ups. Really? Yep. They'll be here in the year 2000. Uh, will you be here in the year 2000? Of course. What will you and be way doing? beyond. <laughs> what will you be doing in the year 2000, Derek? Probably be uh, flying a spaceship of some kind. Flying a spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> Where did that one come from? <laughs> <laughs> now, Derek, uh, if we can get back in touch with, with reality. Yeah. You know <laughs> now, the guys have got to find the best moves that they can on Mortal Kombat 4. What's your advice? Well, I think what they should do is Try some of the commands I know from Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, mm -hmm. and do some slight variations on those commands and see what comes out. Okay, then. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you very much for now, Derek. Now, Mark has started already playing. Let's take a look and see how he's getting on. Okay, Mark is playing a sub zero on the right of the screen. He's trying some of the old moves from the previous games, Derek, as you said. That's right. Some of the old classic ice techniques there, some throws. Nothing really sexy yet. Yeah, no, no, nothing special. We're going to leave Mark playing just now. Hopefully, he'll come up with something uh, super duper between now and when you finish watching uh, today's news. Okay, we have got Mark, Mikey and Neil. They've got the duration of the show to find the best moves on Mortal Kombat 4. We've all had a quick shot and we've had a couple of decent ones already. We've got, let's take a look at one we've just recorded from Mikey. Now, Mikey is playing as Jarek, the bloke on the left of your screen with a bad waistcoat and he whips out a massive mallet, oh, Derek. That's right. <laughs> Not scorpion flying. Now, that is one serious weapon. Yeah, so we've got weapons in Mortal Kombat 4. Now. That's right. The characters have got secret weapons. And uh, you can actually find them. Yes, you can. Yeah. Don't apologise, you can quite literally find them. 
<laughs> no, um, OK, we've, uh, we're going to take a look at Neil's so far. This is what we've recorded from him. Playing as Quan Chi, that's the skull guy, and it's a top green skull projectile situation, Derek. That's right, he's launching that green skull, much like a fireball from Street Fighter. It is, that's a good movie. We can see it in the slow-mo replay there. Like Street Fighter, but a little bit more sick. <laughs> I think that's the one. Uh, right, OK, we're going to go to Mark now. He's playing a Chinook here. Now, Chinook in this game can take on the other player's powers, like Shang Tsung in the previous game. It said he doesn't have to change his appearance. You can see him on the right-hand side there, Derek. And what's he just done? Oh, he has done his take on Reptile's invisibility. He has. Disappear there. totally. Come up. And right up the jacker. <laughs> Uh, okay, he's found another one as well. Another example of taking on someone else's move. Now, what's, well, who's is this one's Derek is going to do? Oh, he's done Scorpion's Harpoon. And has used it to great effect against Sonya. He has dragged her in, uppercut. And uh, Mark, I would say, probably discovering the best stuff so far. You know, if you're in the slightest bit uh, offended or upset by any of those moves, then I would go away now because today's celebrity challenge is even more disturbing. Yet more hardcore action still to come on this show. We've got the guys trying to get the special moves on uh, Mortal Kombat 4. So let's go over to someone else who talks a lot of rap. Mr. Derek Lynch, how are the guys doing? Well, Dominic, since we were last here, the guys have found some great moves. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, Mikey's found Quan Chi's mate, picks it up. Now, in, this, in the new Mortal Kombat 4, you can actually pick up the weapons of different characters. And he's using it there to great effect. Well, Mark playing as Reptile discovered some breakers. Each character has their own breaker. Here we see it here. He uses Reptile and breaks off Shinnok's neck, but he does not manage the fatality. Here we go. Neil has found the first fatality of the event. Playing a Scorpion, he's whirling around Fujin, whirls him around and throws Fujin into the fan. Thank you very much, Mr. Lynch. Well, I reckon that with that fatality, Neil has edged slightly ahead. They've still got a couple more minutes, though, we're going to show you the remaining moves, uh, but in the meantime, you can take a look at today's reviews. OK, the guys have stopped playing in Mortal Kombat 4 now, but we've recorded the best moves they've managed to come up with. Let's take a look at Michael's, first of all. We've got three moves to show you here. First of all, he's uh, playing as Fujin. This is a whirlwind move because he's the god of wind, Fujin. I know you thought it was Bindaloo was the god of wind, but it's not. Um, now, look, that was, that's a good move there. We liked that one, didn't we? That's right. I mean, swinging around like, just like a whirlwind. Uh, quite literally, Derek. Uh, right, a second good one. This is uh, Fidget again. Now, this is an actual gun here, Derek. It's almost it's that kind of laser crossbow. Some kind of laser, laser crossbow. That's right. Laser crossbow shoots him in the air. Now, that's good. Another new thing as well from Mortal Kombat for projectile weapons. OK, now we have a fatality from Michael Liu Kang's dragon fatality. Turns into a dragon, bites Sub-Zero, whoops him around! Absolutely horrendous, Derek, this one, wasn't it? That was just... gross. <laughs> yes. OK, let's move on to uh, Neil's final couple of moves that we managed to record. We start off with uh, Scorpion's forehead combo against Fujin using uh, Harpoons and arm breakers. Talk us through it, Derek. One, with a harpoon. Two, arm break. Three, harpoon again. Four, arm break. Right, okay, Sonya's rotary blade weapon against Tanya. Next on the classic MK first level, top slicing action there. And a kick for good measure. Spinning blades, straight in there to Tanya. Very painful indeed. And finally, fashion <laughs> Chinook here. This is a great one. <laughs> Chinook skeleton hand squeeze fatality against Raiden. Look at the size of that hand. He's a little bit constructed there, and he just loses his head entirely. Skeleton hand coming out, there, oh, and the head just pops out like um, juice out of a lemon. <laughs> yes, exactly right. OK, we've seen Michael's, we've seen Neil's. <laughs> Let's go on to Mark's remaining three now. OK, first we're going to see Sub-Zero seven-hit combo against Quan Chi. Freezes him first, then goes in for the seven hits. Fantastic display there. OK, punch, breaks the ice, kick. Another punch, breaks the leg. Waits, slides. Sweep, another slide, Devastating, Sweep. and nearly got the eight there as well, he went for the eight but just missed it, devastating right. nonetheless. Now we've got a Raiden's electricity explosion fatality against Liu Kang, a move pioneered by my Gran. <laughs> and the head flying up at the end there just to get on camera. Here you have it, Raiden using his full electric force, a powerhouse of electricity, absolutely incredible. And uh, still manages to keep his hair. <laughs> Quite nice throughout. Okay, finally, 
It's Tanya's explosive kiss fatality against Raiden. This is one of my favourites, this. His legs are oh. funny, his head twists <laughs> down and... Oh, my God! He's oh, been man. mangled. <laughs> what an amazing kiss. Completely disintegrates in mid-air. And you've known a few women like that in your time, Derek, haven't you? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, right, so you've now seen all the moves the guys have managed to come up with during the course of the show. Let's go over to Games Master for a final adjudication. Never before have I witnessed such an exhibition of blood-curdling carnage. Your mother's not very proud. Nevertheless, a decision must be made. And it seems to me that young Mark has proved to be the most ruthless and skillful of tonight's contestants. It was he who discovered the largest number of fatalities. Congratulations, Mark. Sick and twisted you may be, but the golden joystick is yours. So congratulations, Mark Griffin, you are the winner. Last time you were on, you came third in the end Killer Instinct uh, combo, so that's not bad, you, you have improved. Uh, you, but my favourite move of yours was that, uh, the kiss fatality. How, how did you pull that off? Um, well, you have to go down, down, up, down, and then high punch and block. Uh -huh. Right up close, and then she'll do the move. Right. Not the kind of thing you want to do with a woman most of the time. Um, DJ Mikey P. Now, my favourite uh, fatality years was uh, the dragon one. I, I liked that. Uh, how does how, that work? I have to keep that secret, you know. Okay. It's Fine. a mystery. Toy with me. <laughs> DJ you. Uh, now, finally, Neil. With the tattoo. Scaffolder extraordinaire. Uh, you, my favourite one of yours was the, oh, the big skeleton hand. Was. How, how did you pull that off? Oh, it was just a case of wiggling my stick and um, banging my knobs. Right. Um, well, we always like people to better themselves on this show. This is a very fine lesson for kids out there because a couple of years ago, Mark Griffin came on the show and came third out of three on Killer Instinct. He worked hard, he studied in school, he came back and he has now won the going against Master Joystick, Mark Griffin! <laughs> Would you believe it? Two weeks on air, and already we've done our second show. That means there's only eight more, eight more weeks until like, Channel 4 becomes less fun than standing on a wet patch in the kitchen wearing only your socks. See you later.